just got our nut grinder in. We have a brand new Rhino grinder in the box. So this is how you will receive it. So I'm going to cut the strapping. Okay. And we're going to open the box. First thing you're going to see is your quick start guide. So I'm going to set these scissors down. We'll open up the quick start guide. And it just basically runs you through everything you need to do, know to get the nut grinder up and running, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is get the hopper out of the box. And just to be on the safe side, it'd probably be a good idea if you hang on to the box for a little bit before you discard it, just in case if there is an issue, which we seriously doubt, but just in case, you can ship it back to us or we can recall it in the original container. This is the hopper, and you have hardware inside the hopper. So I'm just going to set this aside for just a second. And we're going to continue unpacking. Now this outer box just lifts straight up. This is what was cushioning the hopper. Now to get this inner box off, you have two pushed in tabs here. You just simply pull those out, one on each side. And once you have those out of the way, you can easily lift that straight up. Grab my scissors again. Now, this protective foam. It's probably going to be behind this front cover. You can remove that, put your front cover back on. Okay, here's the hopper, and it has a lot of internal parts inside of it, so we set it up here on the table. I'm gonna carefully remove the plastic wrapping. Open the lid. You're going to find your drill pattern of where to mount your anti tip, which we will do here in just a second. We'll set that aside. Here you have your grip tray. Our other parts inside here are your operations manual. You have your power cord. And then in this package, you have a variety of items. Let's just open it up. This is a wrench you use to take the grinding plates off and on. That will be covered in another video. Brush for cleaning. Another little brush for cleaning. That's a variety of brushes. Your anti-tip bracket. And then the hardware to mount the anti-tip bracket. So these are the items that should be inside your hopper. Now the anti-tip bracket goes on the countertop where you're going to mount your, or your uh, duct grinder is going to rest and be permanently used. So for the sake of time, we've already drilled and the holes and mounted the anti-tip grinder or bracket. 
So what I'm going to do is the way the instructions say is have somebody assist me and we're going to lift a nut grinder up onto the table and slide it into the anti-tip. Come back here, Scott. We're going to slide it onto the anti tip bracket. Okay, now that we have our rhino grinder on its table where it's going to be used, we're going to take it apart because it's brand new and everything should be clean for the very first time. So the front just easily pulls off. You have to loosen the anti-rotation screw. rotate and that pulls right off. You have a little screw underneath the front housing. And you can see I turned the auger until the screw would go up into it. So now that the screw's up inside the auger, you can loosen the front grinding plate. If it's too tight and you can't get the front grinding plate off, we have a tool that you can put on the unit and loosen it that way. There's the front grinding plate. The next thing we want to do is take off the main housing. You pull these thumb screws out. There's holes right here to rest them in so they're not lost. And you can take this housing off. Now, to get the rear grinding plate off, you have a thumb screw here and a thumb screw here. You can simply back it out. You can take it all the way out, or you can back the shoulder out enough where it clears the aluminum casting. Same on the other side. And then you simply rotate it, line it up. comes out. Okay, to finish disassembling the unit for, for its initial cleaning, you have your outside housing, you have a piece of cardboard, you need to pull that out, and that was inside your duckbill valve, and then you need to remove the duckbill valve. And it's that simple. And then remove the ring. These thumb screws back out, but they do not come completely out. And just remember when you go back with this, these nuts go to the outside. The flat part goes to this flat part. So what I'm gonna do is per the cleaning instructions, Wipe down the unit here with sanitizing solution. Clean it all up. And while I'm finished wiping all this down, we're going to take all this down and wash it and then come back and put it all back together. Before we do that, once your unit's in use and it has peanut butter or nut butter and everything's really dirty because right now it's very clean, remember you do have these brushes. Uh, the big brush can be used for cleaning the spout area here. The one that looks like a toothbrush can be used for cleaning the teeth on the grinding plates. And then the little brush can be used in just very small areas where peanut butter can gather and collect and you can clean it out. So give us a second, we'll come right back and we'll put this together with everything nice and clean. 
Okay, we're back from cleaning. Everything's new and shiny, looking good. Uh, this is the rear grinding plate. What we're going to do is just start these thumb screws just a little bit. You can see how much thread I have left. About like that. And if you guys remember from previous videos, we had this little V up here on top. And that V will go to the top of the unit here. So now we're going to line the threads up with these slots right here. So it's in place. Now whether we want it to be coarse or fine, there's your coarse setting and there's your fine setting. Uh, we're going to start with our nut butter grinder on coarse. So make sure it goes all the way in finger tight and again all the way in finger tight all right I'm going to put this up on the auger we had to set our thumb screws here in the holes And again, you just need it nice and snug. You don't really have to bear down on it. Just snug, tight. You don't want things rattling around. Okay. Then our outer grinding plate. And you can see I'm still spinning it and the auger is actually turning. That's okay. The first time you use it, it'll self-tighten and tighten itself up. All right. The outer housing, there's our ring. And remember, these are at specific positions and they have to be lined up with their mating holes. You can't put it on this way. You can't put it on that way. It has to go on this way. The little nuts are facing outward. The way I like to do it is just start them all. Don't really bear down and tighten at this time. That way it's easier to get them all going. And once you have all three located, then go back give them all a final little snug turn, okay? Now to put the duckbill valve back in, <clears throat> if you notice you have a long side and you have a short side. Well, in this housing, you have a long side, you have a short side. And that's how the ductile valve has to go in. It will not work like that. So over here, we're putting it in the correct way. And make sure the rubber is flush with the metal, okay? The rubber cannot be up higher than the metal, otherwise you're going to get a clacking sound. If you get a clacking sound, then your duckbill valve has rose up and it needs to be pushed down into its own position as such, okay? So once we have it like that, come around to the front of the unit, line up our tabs with the slots, and then rotate it into place. And we have our little anti-rotation thumb screw right here. So now that's all on. So all we need now is our hopper. We have these four posts in the back. We have four holes or four slots up here on top of the nut grinder. Four posts go on first and then just lower it down into place. And just make sure it's sitting flush, everything's lined up and looks good. And then you have your lid and... Okay, we have your catch tray. That needs to go on to the unit and simply lay it right here and slide it back. Okay, this is the power cord that comes with your Rhino grinder and it simply plugs into the back here and we already have the other end plugged into a regular wall outlet and we recommend that you use a 20 amp dedicated circuit. 
Now, to turn it on, you have a master power switch right here. I turn it on, and you notice your button here is going to flash red, green, yellow. And once it's solid green, the machine's ready to operate. So now it's solid green. I push the button. And then it runs. Now what I want to show you now is a couple safety features that's on the Rhino grinder. And one is with the hopper itself. If the hopper is removed, of course we don't want somebody putting their fingers into the auger, getting hurt or damaged or whatever. So what happens, there's a little sensor here that goes in this hole. And that tells the machine the hopper's removed. So right now, you get a flashing green light. So with that flashing green light, the machine will not operate. Nothing's happening. So to satisfy the machine and make it happy where it wants to run, I'm going to make these four posts with these four slots in the very back here. Posts are in the slot, rotate it down, the sensor here goes in the hole, and we should have a solid green light, and we do. So I'll push the button, and the machine runs. Now the other safety feature is with the front. Now the front just simply pulls off, rotate it down a little bit, and it pulls free. And here's your sensor here, and it mates with this slot right here. So now the nut grinder, the rhino grinder, knows the front's removed. So you have a flashing red light. And again, the machine will not operate. Nothing happens. So I'll put the front back on. Now we'll get a solid green light and the machine will run. So then to turn it off, hit the main power switch and the machine is completely off. Go. Okay, now for whatever nut products you're going to dispense, this is your label holder and it, that's how the unit comes with that. Have a 4x4 label, remove this placard, it goes right there, and then into the machine. If you have a 4x6, you don't, don't need the placard, and this just drops right into the machine. So right now, remove the lid, we're going to put the nuts in the hopper, we're going to put the lid on, make sure it's down and flush. So now what we're ready to do is grind some nuts. Okay, this is the first time this nut grinder's been used. So what I'm going to do is have my tray, push the button, and I'm going to stop right there for a second. What you can see, when it first initially starts, you're going to get powder. And it takes a second for it to build up and actually start grinding and, and dispensing peanut butter. So there you have it. That's how you set up a rhino grinder and we 